stop the FOMO. Do you have a fear of missing out on all the additional color that your TV is capable of? Remember, if you recently bought a TV, you've been told that your TV has a wide color gamut. It's capable of more colors than ever before. Ah, Rex 09 is for the past. DCI P3 is the present and BT 2020 is the future. And you're asking yourself, well, how do I know if I have any of that? So today we are going to chase the rainbow of colors and talk about wide color gamut, what movies have it, what movies don't, whether remastering really adds color, and whether your TV has wider color gamut. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best. And sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Within minutes, you can download the Windows 10 Pro key and you're up and running. But that's not all, folks. WhoKeys has keys for games, too. Steam, Origin, Uplay, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam, under $40. What's not to love? Color, color, color. We're talking about color today and whether your TV is capable of displaying more color and what content can best demonstrate as a reference. Wow, this is what wide color gamut looks like. So we'll start with the basics of the color gamut. I know some of you might already know this, but this is really quick to get the rest of you caught up. So if you look at this diagram, or maybe this diagram is a bit better, and I've linked everything below. This is from a German website, and I like the way they displayed it. So you see three triangles, right? So you have this large color space on the outside. That large color space is what your eyes are capable of seeing. Now, within what your eyes are capable of seeing, you see three triangles, right? Each of those triangles represent a different color space. The smallest one is Rec. 709. The next one up is DCI P3. And then the last and biggest triangle is BT 2020. Starting with Rec. 709, the original color television, broadcast TV even, that color is a small space, but it works, right? There's just enough color in there to make TVs look good. But in the last 20 years, Movies and cinema wanted to capture more of that color, and so they graded a larger color space called BCI P3. Now, today's TVs, for the most part, can display most of that 100%, even more than 100%. Sometimes you'll see monitors saying, hey, we have 110% DCI P3. And what it means is they can display more than that triangle shows, right? They're going into the bigger triangle and beyond DCI-P3 is the larger triangle BT-2020. And that's what a lot of TVs are saying. Hey, we get more BT-2020 than anybody else out there. Quantum dot, right? It brings you more wider color beyond DCI-P3. And OLEDs are adding more color volume, more color space. So it's all about getting as close to BT-2020 as possible. Right now, we're not quite close. We're definitely beyond DCI P3. Most TVs can capture most of that color space, but we are in the early stages of getting into BT 2020, which takes us to content. So let's say your TV is an amazing quantum dot TV, one of the new Sony's or one of the new Samsung's. But then what movies can take advantage of that? So let's get into the content itself. The TVs have taken care of themselves in the sense that over time, with new technologies and new display technologies, and whether it's micro LED or QD OLED, we will steadily increase that color volume that can be displayed or the color space that can be displayed. But the content, is the content, the movies you watch, the streaming, keeping up with the capability of your TV, and if so, how do you demonstrate it? So let's talk about how we identify movies that have this color space. So let's go to this chart by Samsung, and what I'm gonna do is 
pull out just that color space so you have an idea of what we're measuring. As you can see in the color space, right, the top left-hand corner of that triangle is mostly green, then the top right is mostly red, and then the bottom corner is mostly blue, and everything in between is somewhere inside that triangle. So this triangle represents what your eyes can see. And within that triangle, movies are trying to capture as much of that as possible and fit it inside BT2020 to see if your TVs can display it. As far as movie samples, we'll start with The Greatest Showman. It represents a conservative approach where certain scenes justifies the additional color, but for the most part, the movie is in DCI-P3. Second is a fantasy sci-fi superhero action flick that justifies a bit more BT2020 coverage. That's Aquaman. And third, this is the extreme example of an explosion of rainbow. That's Inside Out, the Pixar classic. And at the end, we'll wrap it up and talk about remastered movies. The original colorful movie, colorful sci-fi movie, is The Fifth Element. And whether the remastered version well, does it have more BT2020 material? We'll talk about that at the end. So hold on tight and let's jump right in. We'll start with The Greatest Showman. On the top right-hand corner, notice that color analyzer. The red triangle, the largest one, is BT2020 space. Then comes the bright green, which is DCI-P3, where most modern movies are graded. And the inside triangle, the yellow one, is Rec. 709. And within the triangles, you're going to see some white spots. These spots represent what colors are being displayed. So by overlaying the color chart, you see that the spots are mostly around the areas of orange and yellow in this scene. But as the scene progresses and that purple violet outfit really becomes apparent, you'll see the spots moving towards the purple violet areas pushing into BT 2020. In this next scene, it's all about the green costume. Her green costume definitely pushes into BT 2020. Check it out. And of course, this movie is all about red, from Hugh Jackman's coat to the exotic circus performer. But Deep Red is not just about costumes. What about red hair, lipstick, and freckles? And lastly, one of the rare scenes where blue is extended deep into BT2020 territory. Next up is Aquaman. I love how they use the BT2020 color space to separate the world above from the world below. Atlantis has all those amazing colors, but it's not just the world. Even characters from Atlantis coming on land will continue to carry that BT2020 space with them. From her hair to the alien technology, yep, it extends into BT2020 color space. But for a true explosion of extended color, let's check out Inside Out. Boom. Wow. <laughs> Everything is filled up here. And just like in Aquaman, we see how the everyday world is represented by dull Rec. 709-like colors. But when you go into her head in the fantastic world of Inside Out, it's all about BT 2020. And I think those three movies best represent where we are today with wide color gamut. The Greatest Showman, Conservative approach, most of the color is in DCI P3. However, the red hair, maybe the costumes, you push into BT 2020, have fun. But the people without the TV that's capable of BT 2020 isn't missing out on much because it's really just costumes, right? And then you go to the fun sci-fi flick like Aquaman, where entire worlds are pushed into BT 2020, like underwater scenes, or her green costume, or her bright red hair. They're having fun with that. And if you really want to have fun, you go Pixar and you have an explosion of imaginary colors that's not anywhere close to what we see in other movies because they can. That's the beauty of animation. You can grade to your heart's content. Isn't that color analyzer great? Now we can select reference scenes as far as color coverage is concerned and compare TVs when we do TV reviews. But before we get into that, really quick, what about remastered movies? Are they remastering it by adding more color? Well, why don't I use an example, the fifth element remastered and the remastered version, I ran it through the analyzer and what I discovered was very interesting. First, only one scene fully utilized 
that additional color gamut, which is this scene, the blue opera singer. Wow, that blue is pushing into BT 2020, no doubt. But that was it. Most of the movie stayed within the confines of what I think is the original color grade of the movie. And more importantly, only in scenes where there is a green fluorescent light or a blue fluorescent light did it end up pushing into BT 2020. So you can see they didn't want to ruin the movie, I guess, or they didn't know how, or they didn't want to make it too obvious. But at the end of the day, it just didn't feel like Fifth Element took advantage of BT 2020. And I'm referring to her orange hair. We saw in The Greatest Showman and we saw in Aquaman, the ladies with the red hair, boom, BT 2020 all day long. But my question for you is this though, creator's intent being what it is, if the fifth element was shot today, don't you think they would be pushing most of those scenes into BT 2020? Very similar to Aquaman? I definitely think so. Now let's talk about moving forward. How do we use these analyzers these scenes for TV reviews. Well, obviously now I can use demo scenes to compare TVs. When one TV says we got wider colored coverage than the next, well, what does that mean in a real scene? Like the dancing unicorn from Inside Out, do you see the color differences in certain scenes? Because Inside Out, the emphasis is blue and green and red and everything in between. So I can focus on any color depending on the scene because we already know ahead of time that Inside Out just loves to push the extremes of the color gamut, the BT2020 color gamut. Oh, well, of course, speaking of TV reviews, the QN90A 65 inch is here. And yes, we will be putting it up against the Q90R and last year's Q900TS 8K TV. We'll be able to check out the color gamut and all the stuff you guys have been waiting breathlessly for. Okay, now that you know how to show off that wide color gamut of your TV, are you going to rush out and get Aquaman <laughs> or Inside Out? Let me know in the comments below. And after this video, there's more here, 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 and here. Until next time, stop the FOMO.